Hello, my favorite crafting buddies. How are you today, boys and girls? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me here at Crafting with Grammy. Our craft today is going to be this adorable little panda. So settle in with me and let's get crafting. For today's crafting project, you're going to need a pair of scissors, you're going to need some cotton fiber fill. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need some white string. You're gonna need a bowl of rice. And we're gonna need a cup, any size cup will do. And you're gonna need a piece of ribbon. Now, I've chosen pink because that's what I had, but you could have your ribbon be any color that you choose. You're gonna need a piece of black felt. I have a pretty big piece here that I'm gonna use. You're gonna need a little pom-pom, a little white pom-pom for his cute little nose. You're gonna need some googly eyes. He's gotta be able to see, right? So you can get googly eyes in any size that you'd like. And the last thing you're gonna need is a little red heart to put on his chest. You can make your heart any color that you'd like. If you have felt around the house, feel free to choose whatever color you want. And that's it. So let's get started. We're gonna take that glass and we're gonna take that little white sock that we asked for and we're gonna put the toe of the sock down inside the glass, just like that. You're gonna open the sock up and you're gonna put it over the top of the glass. Put it down quite a ways and then kind of push it down. Push it down so that it creates a little hole just like that. And that's where we're gonna put the rice. So let's get started doing that. Grammy uses her hand all the time for this, so that's just fine. You're just gonna keep putting the rice in there until you reach the top of the cup, just like that. Then I want you to push that down in there. Push, push, push all the way to the bottom. Perfect. Now we're going to keep filling. And you're going to fill to the top one more time. Grammy's spilling rice everywhere. That's okay. I do it all the time. All right. That should do it. Let me get the rice out of the way. And I'm going to get that rice off the table. There we go. All right. You're going to take that sock and you're going to lift it right out of that cup and then set that cup aside because you won't need it anymore. All right, now just like when we made our gnomes in our last video, I want you to shake that rice all the way down to the bottom of that sock so that it makes a little ball at the bottom. That's gonna be the base for the panda and it adds weight so that he won't tip over. That's a good thing. All right, now we're gonna fold that sock down. There's one, two, three times. And that'll just make it easier to work with for you. Now you're gonna get out that cotton fiber fill and we're gonna start filling that sock. And you're just gonna keep on going. Keep on putting it in there. Just like that. And a little bit more. And then you wanna push it down in there nice and tight against that rice. There we go. All right. Keep on going. Keep on going. And you want to go past the heel. See how the heel of my sock is right here? You want to feel past the heel of the sock. So just keep right on filling. It takes quite a bit of fill to do this one. Oops, I almost took the whole thing out. There we go. All right. Just keep on doing it. And I think that that to do it. So let's move the fiber fill out of the way. All right. And we're going to set your panda body off to the side too. Now take that white string that I asked you to have and we're going to cut two pieces of string and you're going to cut them oh probably about as long as your arm. That's a good measurement to use. So we're going to cut two of those. I'll do that real quick here. All right. There we go. Now you can set that string aside because you're not gonna need it anymore. All right, I want you to take one piece of that string and bring your panda body back in front of you. 
and we want to push that down, push it down, just so that it comes right to the center of the sock. That's really important. You want it right in the center. And we're going to tie that off. Now, if you've watched any other of Grammy's videos, you know my three knot rule. So we're going to do one, two, you want to get this one really, really tight. And three. There we go. All right. Now, we're not going to need these silly strings hanging here. So I'm going to have you cut those off pretty close to the sock. But not so close that you cut the sock. We don't want to do that. All right. There we go. And that's just garbage. So we can set that aside. All right. Now that you have that done, you're gonna take the top of the sock, what's left of it, and you're gonna turn it inside out and push it down on your sock, just like that. And it should come down about, oh, maybe a third of the body that you have going there. See how I did that? You see how I brought it down on top? That's perfect. All right, now, we're gonna take that other piece of string that you cut and we're gonna tie it right along the ridge there, just above the line so you can see where I'm at. Here's the line of my sock. You're gonna tie it off right, just right above it like that. And again, three knot rule, but this time you wanna pull really, really tight because we're trying to create his his head, so we've got to make it a separate piece of the sock from his body. So we're gonna grab it and we're gonna pull it super tight. You see how that did? All right, and you're gonna tie it again in another knot. So there's two and one more. And there's three. And then kind of squish it down. There we go, all right. Now, we don't need these silly strings either, so we're gonna cut those off. Perfect. All right, see his little body starting to form. Great. Now, we're gonna set him aside and we're gonna continue with the rest of it. You're gonna take your black felt and you're gonna cut two pieces. These are gonna be three quarters by two and a half inches long. All right, so get out your ruler and measure and cut those pieces. That'll be the first cut that you make. All right, so the second piece you're gonna cut is going to be one and a half inches long this way, and it's gonna be three inches long this way. So you can cut that piece. All right, the third piece you're gonna cut is gonna be a one and a half inch square that's gonna be for his eyes. The next piece you're gonna cut is going to be a three and a half inch square. So go ahead and cut that one. You're gonna need just a little piece, just a little scrap piece for his nose. And you're gonna need one long piece it's three quarter inches wide by 10 inches long. And that's going to be for his top right underneath his head here. So we'll get going on that one. You go ahead and cut those pieces out and I'll just wait for you. All right, so Grammy zoomed in so that you can see really close what we're doing. So by now you should have two pieces cut three quarters by two and a half inches long. That's for his arms. You've got one piece that's one and a half inches by three inches long, and that's gonna be for his cute little ears. You've got one square that's one and a half inches square, and that's gonna be for his eyes. You've got one big square, and that's gonna be for his cute little feet. You've got one just little piece of scrap for his cute little nose. And you've got one long piece, and that's three quarters inches wide by 10 inches long. 
All right, so let's get started. I'll get this out of the way for us. All right. There we go. All right. We're going to start with this one and a half inch square. And what I want you to do is fold it from corner to corner so that you get a triangle out of it. You see how I've got that in a triangle? That's what we're going to start with. Now, hanging on to the outside corner of it, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut just a little tiny circle out of the middle, just like that, and then open it back up again. So it's going to look just like that. All right. Now, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut that right in half against the long part of that circle, just like that. So you end up with two pieces that look like that. Whoops, there we go. All right, now take one of those pieces and I want you to cut off the corners, kind of round the corners off, all the corners. Just like that. So you should end up with a shape kind of like that. It kind of reminds me of a lima bean. How about you? So I'm going to quickly do the other one. All the corners. Just like so. Perfect. You want to match it to the other one as best as you can. There we go. So now we have two shapes just like that. All right. You can go ahead and set those aside. All right. Next, we're gonna move on to his arms. So you're gonna take those two pieces that were three quarter inches by two and a half inches long, and you're going to round the corners off on these too. Just take the triangles right off the edges on both of them, and we're creating his cute little arms. All right, so there's one. Now I'm gonna do the other one, just like that. It's so easy. It's just cutting triangles out of felt, basically. All right, so there we have his two cute little arms. All right, we'll set those aside. Perfect, now we're gonna move on to his cute little feet here. So I want you to take that big square that you cut, and we're gonna fold that in half just like that. All right, now we're gonna cut a heart out of that. So you're gonna start at the bottom. You've got two, both of the open ends put together, just like that. All right, now we're gonna cut a heart out and make it as right to the edges of this. You wanna make it a pretty good size heart all the way around. And if you have trouble with this one, maybe mommy can help you with it. So we end up with a heart just like that. All right. Now we're going to set that aside too. All right. Second to last piece. And this is going to be the part for his ears. So we've got one and a half inches by three inches long. You're going to take that and you're going to fold it over. So you're going to fold it from the lengthwise over on top of itself. Perfect. So you end up with that. You got kind of a loop there. All right. Hanging on to the, to the inside where the fold is, you're just going to cut a half a circle out just like that. Right to the edge of that. So you end up with kind of an oval shape just like so. All right, keep it folded in half. That'll give you your center marker piece. And we're gonna cut that right in half, just like that. And that's gonna give you two pieces. So two half circles. All right, you're done with his ears. It's so easy. Now our last piece, let me get all that out of our way so you can see what we're doing here our long piece, which is gonna be three quarter inches this way 
and 10 inches this way. All right, we're gonna take that and we're gonna fold it right in half, just like that. So we have a loop on one end and the two loose ends on the other. All right, so hanging on to that, we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut a little area for his neck. So starting at about halfway from the loose ends, see my loose ends are here. All right, about halfway, we're just gonna cut a little notch out of it. Just like that. All right, so you should end up with a piece that looks just like that. You see that? See how that notch is? That's perfect. All right, we're gonna set that aside and we're all done with the, with the parts for his body here. So we're gonna move right along. All right, the next step I want you to do is get that little pom-pom out. And we need to decide where we're gonna put his nose. And his nose should go right in the center of his face. So get that glue gun out. We're gonna put a little bit of glue on there and we're just gonna tack that right down to the center of his face, just like that. See how I did that? Perfect. And you're gonna wanna smoosh that in so that it sticks really good. There, just like that. Now he's got a little nose, isn't that cute? All right, now those two pieces that you cut that look like lima beans, I want you to get those out and we're going to glue those just on either side of his nose, just like that. That one, and then this one, just a little bit apart from each other, just like that. All right, I'm gonna glue mine on. Just glue them right in place, just like that. Perfect, you wanna put it right up against his nose. Perfect. Now I'm gonna glue the other one on. All right. There we go. So you're gonna end up with it looking just like that. Pretty cool, huh? All right, now it's time for the googly eyes. So go ahead and choose whatever size you're gonna put on. Like I said, I'm gonna go with small googly eyes on mine. And we're gonna glue those on. Just a little dab of glue goes a long way. It doesn't take much. Put that hot glue gun back in its holster when I'm done with it. And you're gonna glue those eyes right at the top. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna do the next one. All right, matching it to the other one. We're gonna put the other eye just like so. Mine's a little crooked. There we go. There's his eyes. Terrific. All right, let's move on to his cute little arms. So those pieces that you cut, you started off with them three quarter inches by two and a half inches long, and then we cut the corners off. Those are gonna be his arm. So you've gotta decide where you're gonna put his arms. It should be about halfway, and you're gonna bring him forward just like that. So let's glue those on next. Okay, halfway around the body and bring him forward and glue them on just like that. Perfect. All right, let's do the other one now. And we're gonna match it up. Put it right at the same point. There we go. There we go. There's his little arms. All right, now, remember that big heart that I had you cut out? Those are his feet. So we're gonna take his feet and we're gonna glue those on with the big side of the heart facing forward. What I like to do, make it easy, is take my feet and just run a little bit of glue right at the bottom of it, just like that. Okay, 
And then we're just gonna take that panda and we're gonna set it right on top. Make sure that it's centered really well. Perfect, just like that. Okay, now we can take some glue and we can put that right on the tips of his toes there. Just like that. All right, again, hot glue gun back in the holster. You're gonna take his feet and you're gonna flip him up. Just like so. Isn't that cute? All right, let's move on to his ears. Now this is kind of tricky, so I'm gonna set the panda aside so that we can get a real good close-up of this. All right, so the two pieces that you cut into half a circle, we're going to take each one, you're gonna hold it just like this, and you're going to be putting a piece of glue or a bead of glue right there, and you're gonna push that in up at the top, uh, right at the bottom there. You see how I did that? Let's see, there we go. I'm gonna push it in just like that. We're gonna glue it like that. So we're gonna do two of those. So we're going to take a little bit of glue and put it right there. And then we're gonna hold it. Hold it until it, until it dries. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to dry when you're dealing with felt and hot glue. All right, there we go. So what you end up with is a shape like that. You see how it stands out? The bottom looks like that. It almost looks like a bow tie, doesn't it? All right, so let's do the same thing to the other one. All right, again, we're gonna put a little bit of glue right in the middle of it. And again, if you don't have a low temp glue gun, make sure that you get help from mommy for this. And we're gonna fold that center in and then we're gonna hold it. It just doesn't take long, just for a minute. All right. So then we end up with two little ears. Perfect. There's his little ears. Aren't those cute? Whoops, one of his ears fell over. There we go. All right, so let's get our panda back out. And we need to put some ears on this guy so that he can hear, right? So let's get those ears on. So we're gonna take the glue and on the little bow tie side, see how, here's the bow tie part. You're just gonna put a little bit of glue on each corner of it, just like that. All right, and then with the pointy ends, facing away from you, you're gonna set that ear, that ear right on top of his head and glue it on. You see how I did that? So the pointy sides are facing forward. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other one too. So we're gonna take the ear and we're gonna put a bead of glue on both of the points just like that, and we're gonna set that ear right on the other side of his head. Remember, points going forward. There you go. He's got cute ears. Isn't he just so cute? All right, now he needs a, a nose, part of his nose. So remember that little scrap of material that I asked you to have around? Any corner will do. We're just gonna cut off a little triangle. Just like that. And just like everything else, we're gonna cut the corners off to make it rounded so that it ends up looking, oops, it's sticking to my finger. So it ends up looking just like that. All right, now we're gonna glue that on to his little nose the point of the triangle is going to face down and the rounded edges are going to face up. So we're just gonna stick that right on there, just like that. And just push down a little bit, put a little bit of pressure on it. There we go. Now he's got a nose. Look at that. He's so cute. All right. Just one more piece of felt, and that's the long one that I asked you to cut. 
And that one was 10 inches long by three, or excuse me, 10 inches long by three quarter inches wide. And then we cut that little notch out of it to go around his neck. And we're gonna do just that. We're just gonna set it right there around his neck, right where you cut that notch out. We're just gonna put it right around. And then you're gonna tack it with some glue in the back. So I'm gonna tack it to the back of his neck. Just like that. All right, there, see how that looks? Isn't he adorable? And so simple too. All right, our last step is gonna be our ribbon. So I'm gonna set Mr. Panda aside for a minute. I just want you to take that piece of ribbon and we're gonna tie it in a bow, in a quick bow, just like you do with your shoes and socks in the morning when you get dressed. All right. Whoops, I missed. Let me re-loop that around. There we go. And pull it nice and tight. There we go. And you don't want too big of a bow, so you're gonna wanna pull it down a little bit. Or maybe you do want a big bow. It's entirely up to you what size bow you want. There we go. So now I have my bow. All right, now we're gonna cut the ends of the bow off because they're a little bit long. So I'm just gonna cut each end off, just like that. There we go. Then we can get rid of those. All right, now you're just gonna take that bow, get your glue out again, put a little bit of glue on the back of the bow, and right where the top of the sock, right where we pulled the first part of it down on top of itself there, that's where you're going to glue the bow to cover that up. Now, if you have any fiber fill sticking out of there, that's perfectly fine. Just cut the fiber fill off to as close to the sock as you possibly can. All right. And then we're just going to stick that bow right on top of its head. There we go. Just like that. And there you have it. Your little panda. Isn't it just the cutest little thing you ever saw? All right. Now, if you want to add a little red heart to his chest like I have on this one, you can certainly do that. And I will add, let's see here. Where did I put my heart? There it is. All right. I happen to have a sticky back heart that I used in the same video that I made the gnomes with. And I get these at the dollar store. They have a little sticky back to them. You just peel it off. And we're gonna take our little panda and we're gonna put a little heart on him, just like that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and push the red subscribe button below. We'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.